Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure GitLab on RHL 9. But the process is same on RHL 8 also. Open any web browser, then go to GitLab official website that is gitlab.com. Click on resources, then click on install. Scroll down, then click on Alma Linux. See because versions 8 and 9 of 9 for RHL compatible distributions. Okay, so click on it. See it supports Alma Linux and RHL 8 and 9 versions. So, first we have to run these commands. So, first execute these commands one by one. Open terminal. Paste it, hit enter. Then next, enable the SSHD. Copy it. After this, we have to run these comments one by one. First one, it will enable and it starts the SSH service. It is run, control L to clear screen. Now, copy it, paste it, hit enter, then start it. It is done. Now, this step done, this step also completed. Now, enable HTTP and HTTPS, hit enter. Now HTTPS. Now reload the firewall. D. Hit enter. It is done. Now next we have to install the postfix that is an email application. So install it. See here if you want another solution we can skip this step but I am going with postfix one. Type away for confirmation and hit enter. Next, enable and start the first fix. Copy it. Now start it. Verify the status. See, it is it is enabled and running. Q to quit. Control L to clear screen. The next step is we have to add the GitLab package package repository and install it. So with this command we can do that so copy it paste it hit enter Repository setup is done. Control L to clear screen. Now install GitLab E. E means Enterprise Edition. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. Okay, we have to give sudo. That's why it is giving error. Hit enter. See, it is going to download about 1 gigabyte. See here. And the Installed size is 2.9 gigabytes. Wait until this download and installation completes. See, now it is installing. Now 
and version of GitLab is 17.1. Okay. See here, installation is success and it is saying GitLab was unable to detect valid hostname. Okay, that we can configure with this variable in this configuration file. After that, we have to reload the GitLab's configuration. Okay, so first step is so we have to add the IP for this external URL setting in this GitLab file. So open new tab for external URL. I am going to provide the IP. So get the IP by running if config see this is the IP okay so let us edit this file copy sudo vi paste that file with the path we have to give from this forward slash okay that's why it is giving blank data now run the same sudo vi See here the difference. I haven't copied this forward slash. Now it will show the more data. See now search for external URL underscore URL. Next, see here here instead of GitLab dot example dot com, we have to give this IP. So let me copy this IP. Go to here, then remove this gitlab.example.com. I2 insert, paste the type. See, quotations must be here. Okay, now save the file, hit enter. Okay, after that, we have to reconfigure by running this command so run this command this may take time see this reconfigure takes time okay hit enter see gitlab reconfiguration success also see here the message see default admin account has been configured with following details and username is this is the username and password we can get from this file okay so this file will be cleaned up cleaned up in first reconfigure run after 24 hours so this is available for 24 hours after that we have to see how to reset the root password by going to this link okay so now go to a browser paste this ip copy it Paste it, hit it. Now provide the username that is root, then password. You can get the password cd etc gitlab ls. See here we have the initial password. Copy it more, paste it, hit enter. So we should give the sudo. So we have to give the sudo and hit, hit enter. See, you took it. This is the initial password. Copy it. Then paste here. Hit enter. Never see. If you want to configure GitLab, you have to click on here. If you want to create group, click on here. If you want to add people, click on here. If you want to create project, you have to click on create project. Okay. See here we have the create blank project, create from template, import project. Okay. So at present I am not going to create. Click on this administrator, then click on edit profile, then click on password. Then provide the current password. Current password is this is the current password. Okay. Then provide the new password. This is the step we must set password. 
then click on save password now give the username as root then provide the new password see we have successfully logged in so in this video we have seen how to install and configure gitlab on rhl line for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you